The Shady Six Deluxe Machine has been made well shadier. Syndicate agents of the cryptographic sequencer, or otherwise known as an EMAG, can now EMAG the machine to give access to the Syndicate smoke packet. And uh, emagging it doesn't have any sound, so this is relatively safe if you just do it really quickly. But you probably don't want anyone to see you take the Syndicate smokes directly from it. Syndicate agents have had their armory upgraded. Now they have access to the EMP grenade. The EMP, gren EMP grenade releases electromagnetic pulses that disrupt or damage many electronic devices or drain power cells. It costs 4 TC. And to activate it, you simply just press Z in your hand. You can't change any of the timers, it just explodes in three and a half seconds. So you press Z and throw it. Sounds like a flashbang. And with a really cool visual effect, the stun baton is completely drained. The laser gun is completely drained. It destroyed the lights and it drained a decent portion of the APC. And this was a non-normal APC. So a basic APC would have had its entire battery drained. The Syndicate Encryption Key has been buffed significantly, so what the Syndicate Encryption Key is, it's an encryption key that not only allows you to access all station radio channels, but allows you to use, to use a secure Syndicate channel to contact other agents. So if I buy the encryption key, and just stick it into my headset, now as you can see, this is a all-access uh, headset. So for only 2 TC, you can listen to every single channel on the station, which is extremely powerful and it is up to you to figure out i guess why it's so powerful the blood red heart suit is no longer uh identical to the Syndic syndicate commander's heart suit previously the only difference was was that the helmet was more of a eye slate instead of like eye holes like the current blood red so the blood red now looks a bit more sleek and not quite as bulky as the uh, commander armor because the commander armor is more resistant to damage, so it makes sense that it is the bulkier of the two. The space bear and bear hide have received a lovely respray. The space bear now has essentially a constellation on his back, and the hide itself has also been resprayed to have the same constellation, which it looks a lot more animated, uh, and just in general is a lot cleaner than the previous bear sprite. And that is the bear from the side and the front as well. The handmade pistol now is no longer a generic pistol. It is basically a flare gun, and it is just a makeshift shotgun, which by default comes with one lethal shell. And the only place to find one right now, I believe, is on a salvage. Otherwise, we have to wait for more to get mapped or some way to make them. This one wasn't in the change log, but there has been a significant resprite of a lot of the game's weapons, and I believe basically all the game's magazines, not quite all of them, but it wasn't in the change log, and it's pretty significant because the visual identity of weapons has definitely changed. And uh, yeah, like I said, this isn't all of them, but it is a good bit of them. And it follows a more consistent art style, which I like. The revolvers aren't gigantic anymore. Like they used to be like the biggest sprites in the game, which I found interesting. And yeah, it uh, looks really good. Science lockers are now guaranteed to come with a node scanner and an anomaly scanner which as you can see, anomaly scanner and a node scanner. No more having to chase down random spawns or hoping uh, like you just find one on a table, something like that. Meat Kudzu spread has been slowed. However, it now does more piercing damage and uh, the meat Kudzu comes from, well, the meat anomaly uh, going super critical. And as you can see, it uh, actually does enough piercing damage to the point that it's very noticeable how fast you start dying. You definitely don't want to spend much time in here. And it still spreads pretty rapidly, so uh, you got to be careful. APCs again have had a visual improvement. Uh, ignore the ch uh, ignore the charge meter, but now if you toggle it on and off as an engineer, nothing's different there. But if you don't have access, you'll get a insignificant access that follows the uh, HUD rather than I think it was above your head. But anyway, just another small improvement to the UI. It's looking better each time. The construction menu has had a bug fix where resetting the preview would basically delete one of the ghosts, but now you can place as many as what you want and close out the menu and none of them just randomly delete. Uh, it's been a bug for a little bit and I'm glad it's fixed. AME fuel jars now tell you how much is actually in them with an exact amount. You're no longer do you have to rip out a empty one and put in another one and find out, oops, it's empty again. It's uh, very easy to figure out which one's going to be trash and which one's going to be saved. The uh, head of personnel's locker now will guarantee spawn with his... Uh, additional card 
uh, for whatever reason, that was not guaranteed. Additionally, the uh, job presets menu is now alphabetical, which is a very big help for when you're trying to assign somebody a new job and you don't just memorize exactly where they were in the preset. Uh, big help for everyone. Headsets have been buffed to hold up to four encryption keys now. So, for example, the passenger headset uh, can now have three additional channels, or you can rip out common. So you lose access to common, but you can squeeze in an extra, more important channel per se. And last but not least that I'll cover, telecommunication servers have been added to the game. And what they are is basically just server racks that let your uh, headsets communicate with certain channels. They um, have the encryption keys in them. You can pull out the engineering uh, encryption key, for example, which it went straight into my hand. Uh, it's supposed to disable communications with uh, that channel, but as far as I'm aware, it's not completely finished and that it isn't super fi uh, ready yet, but theoretically, you should be able to pop out the encryption keys and take down comms of a certain one. So taking down security and taking down command would be very useful. Well, that is it for now. I will scroll through the change log slowly just for the people who don't have Discord open or uh, the game open. I want you to thank every one of our wonderful contributors and maintainers for keeping the game going, fixed, and up to date. And uh, there was a good bit of fixes this week. I didn't cover like the planet stuff because planets are still being worked on. I didn't cover the salvage dungeons because they're not quite done yet. So when they're done, they'll have their own slots. So there's no point covering them early when they're. I know they're going to be just in the game on their own anyways. And that is all for now. Appreciate for watching. Hope I kept you up to date and informed on things.